as far as islam is concerned islam does not merely believe in monotheism islam believes in tawhid tawhid means unification it means asserting oneness it comes from the root word wahda means to unite to unify it means to consolidate islam does not merely believe in believing in one god it believes in tawhid and there are three categories of tawhid tawhid al rububiya tawhid al asma sifat and tawhid al ibada in the first category of tawhid al rububiya it means maintaining the unity of rab unity of lordship tawhid al rububiya is derived from arabic word rab meaning lord sustainer cherisher meaning that allah subhanahu wa taala is the creator the cherisher the sustainer of everything in the universe everything is dependent on him and he is independent of anything and everything maintaining the unity of lordship of allah subhanahu wa taala that's called as tawhid rububiyah the second category is tawhid al asma wa sifat maintaining the unity of the names and attributes of allah subhanahu wa taala this is further divided into five sub categories number 1 is whatever name you give to allah subhanahu wa taala it should be the name that he himself has given him you cannot give your own name to allah subhanahu wa taala you cannot say that allah is al ghadib the angry one the quran does say he gets angry but that's not one of the names allah has given himself or the messenger has given to allah subhanahu wa taala number 2 when you describe the attributes of allah subhanahu wa taala you describe it according to how allah has described himself or the messenger has described allah subhanahu wa taala you can't give your own description and whatever the meaning is you have to take it you can't give your own description allegorical meanings to the description of allah subhanahu wa taala the third is you cannot give the qualities of the creation of allah subhanahu wa taala to allah himself you can't say that allah forgets knows billah that is the quality of his creation you cannot say allah makes a mistake like some of the scriptures say that god made a mistake knows billah these are the qualities of his creation number 4 you cannot give the attributes and qualities of allah to any of his creation you can't say i know a person who is immortal who is eternal these are the qualities of allah subhanahu wa taala and the fifth category is that you cannot give the name of allah to any of his creation if you have to give you have to add abd to it for example you cannot say that he is ar rahim you can say abd ar rahim the servant of the most merciful and you cannot add anything to abd except allah anything else besides allah you can't say abd ar rasul he is the servant of rasul this is not permitted it breaks the second category of tawhid al asma wa sifat and the third category is tawhid al ibada maintaining the unity of worship ibada comes from the arabic root word abd which means to serve meaning a slave meaning a servant in servitude we have to maintain the unity of worshiping allah alone and no one else tawhid al ibada means maintaining the unity of worshiping allah alone and no one else if you follow the first two categories that tawhid al rububiyah saying allah he is a rabb he is a sustainer creator also agreeing with tawhid al asma wa sifat giving him good name the attributes creator etc but if you worship somebody else besides allah then too you are breaking tawhid and there are several such examples in the quran allah subhanahu wa taala in the quran in surah yunus chapter number 10 verse number 31 refers to the pagans of makkah refers to the mushriks and he says that when you ask them that who is the one who sustains the things in the heavens and the earth who has the power to hear and see who has the power to give life to the dead and death to the life who has power to regulate all the affairs they will say allah then why don't you show piety to him that means allah is referring to these pagan arabs in makkah he is agreeing that they believe in allah they call him allah they gave him good attributes good names tawhid al rububiya was there tawhid al asma wa sifat was there but they worshiped things other than allah 
And the similar example is given in Surah Zukhruf, chapter number 43, verse number 87, that when you ask these mushriks, that who is the one who gave life to you? They will say Allah. Then why do you join partners with him? So here we realize that only following the first two categories is not sufficient. Following all three categories of Tawheed simultaneously is important. If you break any one of the categories of Tawheed, it's called as Shirk. Shirk in Islam is the biggest sin. Shirk in Arabic means associating partners. In the Islamic terminology, it means associating partners with Allah. It is the biggest sin. If you break any one of the three categories of Tawheed, you are doing shirk. It is the biggest sin in Islam. And Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Nisa, chapter number 4, verse number 48, Allah forgiveth not that you associate partners with Him. Anything else, if He pleases, He may forgive. But anyone who associates partners with Him has done the most grievous, heinous sin. The same message is repeated in Surah Nisa, chapter number 4, verse number 116. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not forgive the sin of joining gods with him. Anything else, if he pleases, he may forgive. But anyone who has joined gods with Allah, he has strayed away too far. So according to the Quran, the sin which Allah will never forgive is shirk. Therefore, while doing da'wah, while speaking to any human being, the best message you can convey is convey the message of Tawheed. Allah na'buda illallah. That we worship none but Allah. And Allah says in the Quran in Surah Maida, chapter number 5, verse number 72. It says, لَقَدْ قَفْرَ الَّذِينَ قَالُوا إِنَّ اللَّهَ هُوَ الْمَسِيُّ بْنُ مَرْيَمْ They are doing kufr. Those who say that Allah is Christ, the son of Mary. وَقَالَ الْمَسِيحِ But said Christ, Ya Bani Israel, O children of Israel, Allah, worship Allah, Rabbi wa Rabbukum, who is my Lord and your Lord. Inno ma yushrik billah, anyone who associates partners with Allah, faqad haram Allah lal jannah, Allah will make jannah forbidden for them. Allah will make paradise forbidden for them. Wama wa hunnar, wama li zalim li min ansar, and fire shall be his dwelling place, and he shall have no helpers in the hereafter. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, Inno ma yushrik billah, Anyone who associates partners with Allah, Fakad Haram Allah Al Jannah, Allah will make paradise forbidden for him. Wama Wahunnar, Wama Lizalimi Min Ansar, and fire shall be his dwelling place, and he shall have no helpers in the hereafter. That is the reason I started my talk by quoting a verse of the Quran from Sulay Al Imran, chapter number three, verse number sixty-four, which says, Kul Yahil Al Kitab. Say, O people of the book. Come to common terms as between us and you. Which is the first term? Allah. That we worship none but Allah. Only believing in one God is not sufficient. Besides believing in one God, you also have to worship Him alone and no one else. The first term is Allah. That we worship none but Allah, one true Almighty God. That we associate no partners with him. That we erect not among ourselves. Lords and patrons other than Allah. Then they turn back. Say bear witness. We are not Muslim. We are Muslims bowing our will to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah says in the Quran. In Surah Yusuf, Chapter number 12. Verse number 106. That... Most of the people do not worship Allah without associating partners with Him. That means most of the people, when they worship Allah, they also associate partners with Him. The right thing is worship Him without associating partners. Allah says in Surah Luqman, chapter number 31, verse number 27, that if all the trees on this earth was converted to pens, and all the oceans into ink, backed with the seven oceans, yet the words of Allah would not be exhausted. I would like to end my talk by giving the quotation of the glorious Quran from Surah Hajj, chapter number 22, verse number 73, which says, Amen, listen to this parable. All those who you take for protector besides Allah, if all of them gather together to create a fly, they cannot even create a fly. 
if all those who you worship besides Allah, even if they gathered, they will not be able to create a fly. And if the fly snatches away something, they will not be even able to get it back. Feeble are those who petition, feeble are those who they petition. Wa akhru dawana, alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.